Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to build this image grid using only HTML and CSS. We are not going to use any frameworks. So it's pretty simple but the only interesting part in this image grid is that we have images of different size. You can even have the portrait image and landscape image as well. And we are just trying to create an attractive design. And for your convenience I have created some starter files that you can download from the description of this video. The link is in the description. It will open up a Google Drive and you can open the starter files folder, download it. Inside it we have this screenshot which contains the screenshot of the web page that we are going to create. And we have this IMG folder which contains all of the images that we are going to use. Then let's start with the coding. For that just create our text document. And rename the file to index.html and remove the .txt extension so that it becomes a HTML file. Then open it in any of the text editor that you have. And for your quick reference, if you want to see which color theme I am using, it is this second one, Mariana. Alright then, let's start writing the HTML code. As soon as we start writing, it will show the autocomplete for the HTML. You can hit enter and a basic HTML file will be created using these tags. Even if the tags are not created by the text editor, you can just pause the video and write these tags. Then get inside the title tag and write the title. Then we are going to create one link for the external. CSS file where we are going to keep all the CSS stylings and to ensure proper rendering and touch zooming in mobile phones and other touch screen devices we need to write one meta tag Alright, then get inside the body tag. Let's start with a section tag. A section tag defines a section of a document. Then class section hyphen padding. We are going to use this class to add padding around this section. Alright, then get inside and let's first Start with the title for the web page. Create a h2 tag and class title. Then write whatever title that you wish. Then let's start with the image grid. Create a div tag, class, row, we will change the display property to flex using row, space img hyphen grid, we will use img hyphen grid class to add some hovering effect over the images. Alright, then get inside, let's start writing first column. So in this image grid we are going to create columns and not rows. So we will create three columns. This is going to be the first one. Class column space fit hyphen image. We will use this column class to add margin around the images. Fit image to define the height and the width of the image. Then get inside and create another div tag. Class row. 
then get inside and create a img tag and source img forward slash pick hyphen one dot jpg this image is in the img folder which is inside the starter files folder so if you have created this html file in the starter files the way i have done you don't have to worry about anything just get on with the coding then copy this entire line paste it below just change pick 1 to pick 2 all right let's open the file in the browser and there we have two images all right So in the first column we are going to have two images, in the second one we will have three images. So let's start with the second column. In the same way just create div class column space fit hyphen image. Then we just need to paste the div tag that we have already copied which will define one image paste it more so that in total we get three images in the second column and let's just change the name of the images 3, 2, 1 In the same way, we are going to create the third column. So for this, we can copy this entire div tag defining the first column starting from the div which contains class column. Copy the entire div. And paste it under the third column. And just change the name of the images. First one to four, second one to one. And we have all the images in the web page. Now all we have to do is to just make them small and arrange them in the web page like an image grid. So for that we are going to use the help of CSS. So quickly get back to your starter files folder, the place where we have created the index.html. And in the same way, let's just create a text document. Rename it to style.css. Remove the .txt extension so that it becomes a CSS file. Alright, open it in the text editor. And as you remember, we have already defined a link to this external CSS in our HTML page. And since these two files, that is the index.html and style.css are together in the same folder, so we don't have to specify the location of the CSS file, we can just simply write the name of the file and it is enough. So let's get into the style.css now. Let's start styling the body tag and define a font family. Then font size and then the color for the font and let's have zero margin around it and let's align the text into the center and we can have a slight pink background. You can have any other color for the background. It does not matter all right then let's style the s2 tag which defines the title and let's have some margin below it let's say 50 pixels and let's reference the row class the display has to be flex
all right so now the images are getting according to their columns there are three columns and the images are in different columns in the way we have defined them in html then let's reference the column class and since these are the name of the classes so we need to have a dot selector before the name of the class and padding left as 15 pixel this is going to add some padding on the left side of the entire column so that we can separate out the images all right then let's add some padding around the entire section dot section hyphen padding all right And since you can see that we have the column class in all of the three columns, that's why it's easy to just add some padding to the left side of this column class and the padding will be applied to all of the columns. Now let's use this fit hyphen image class to access this image. And since this IMG tag is a child of div tag, which is again a child of this fit hyphen image class so we are going to reference them in this way fit hyphen image greater than sign div greater than sign img so that if you define any img tag later in this web page it will not be affected from this then width 100% height 100% and All right. Dot img hyphen grid space img margin bottom fifteen pixel and this is going to add some margin on the bottom of each image which is under this img hyphen grid class. Then let's add some hovering effect over the images. Transition 0 0.5 seconds ease. This colon hover means that we are referring to the hovering effect. Box shadow 0, 10 pixel. 40 pixels, 0, RGBA, 3 zeros followed by 0 0.5. The 3 zeros define the RGB part and the last part is the alpha parameter which defines the level of transparency. Then transition to smooth out the transition from one effect to another. Okay, let me just write it IMG since it is not image grid, it is IMG grid. Alright, and we have the hovering effect as well. And we just need to add some media queries for the responsiveness. So add media space screen space and space max width 992 pixels and we are going to use section hyphen padding class to reduce the padding in small screens.
and also reduce the size of the S2 tag. Alright. You can see the padding that was before and the padding that we have now below 992 pixels. So in the same way let's define one more breakpoint. So copy this entire media query part, paste it, just change the 992 pixels to 680 pixels, then change the paddings. Reduce the font as well. Refresh. Alright. So with this we have completed this simple image grid. If you like the video, you know what to do. You have to hit like button and subscribe to the channel. And maybe leave some comment below so that I know that you guys are liking my videos. And also let me know if there's anything that you want me to make videos on. If I get enough requests for the same topic, I will start working on it. So that's all for now. 